Hello and welcome to Easy Flasher. Today I'm going to show you how to flash a phone using Easy Flasher. First, open the application and log in using your username and password, and you will be brought to this screen. Then click on Select Phone. A window will pop up where you can choose the destination carrier, the original carrier of the handset, the phone brand, and the phone model. You can see that we're flashing a phone to Cricut. That phone is a Sprint Samsung Galaxy S. Two epic touch. You can choose if you want to do a half flash or a full flash. Hit OK. The window will pop up with instructions on the right. Follow these instructions to the T. They are very simple. I'm going to show you how to do everything right here. Make sure your phone is connected. If you don't have drivers installed, you can click on Tools, go to Driver Checkup, and go to Check for Missing Drivers. My drivers are installed, but if they weren't, the application would recognize that, download the needed drivers, and install them to my computer. Now, you can hit refresh, and it'll give you a list of open COM ports. I know that my phone is on COM 49, but if I didn't know which one, you have a couple of options. You can go to Tools, and there's a shortcut to Windows Device Manager, which will open the Device Manager, where you can manually look and see what's connected. As you can see, I'm on COM49. If you don't want to do that, there's a shortcut here called Detect Phones. You can click this. It takes about 25 seconds, and it will scan all of your COM ports and figure out which ones have phones connected to them. One phone has been detected successfully. As you can see, it knows that it's on COM49. Now, you can read the current settings from the phone. It'll tell you the phone number, the mobile identification number, the MEID, and the lock code if there is one. This is very useful because the MEID decimal version can be copied to the clipboard simply by clicking the C letter next to the MEID. This is great if you're doing ESN changes in CID. Now all you do is you put in the customer's phone number here and their MIN here. Select right, a yes to the prompt. It is now flashing the phone. The phone should reboot whenever the flash is done. Phone flash was successful. You can hit OK. You can see that the phone is rebooting. That's all you have to do to get talk, text, and internet working on the phone. While this boots up, I'll show you some of the other features of Easy Flasher. Within the tools menu that I showed you earlier, there is an MEID calculator, the shortcut to Windows Device Manager that I showed you, the driver checkup, and then phone information. If you want to see what PRL is currently on the phone, you can use this. There are also BlackBerry tools where you can open Black <clears throat> BlackBerry Desktop Manager for flashing Blackberries. You can do a factory reset on a Blackberry, and you can also get Sprint Blackberry SPCs. There's the um, My Account field where you can refill account, enter pins, look at your flash history, change your password, manage sub users. You can hide and display your balance, or you can log out. Subusers is a great feature if you're a dealer and you have employees that are going to be flashing for you. You can go in here. Let's say you wanted to add sub employee 12 and you wanted his password to be pass 12. Simply do that, hit create, and you have a subuser that has been created. You can see him here. Now, Whenever he wants to flash, he will simply log in with these credentials. If you want to delete that subuser, you can. You highlight him here, choose delete. If you want to change his password, you can. The benefit of this is when you go to my account and you go to your flash history, you can see the phones that have been flashed and you can see who they were flashed by. 
So there's no flashing without you know. Now, the phone has been flashed. You can see here that I have 3G. We'll go ahead and go to the internet. Google.com. And this is on Cricut. Now, for the picture messaging, you're simply going to go to your URL bar and type in MMS dot I have great dot info. Go to that URL and it will download our MMS application. You can see that it's downloading here. In order for that application to install, you need to go to settings, applications, and make sure that unknown sources is checked. The application is now installed or now downloaded. You can select it and then hit install. It's now installing the application. You can open it. And that's it. This phone is fully flashed for talk, text, picture messaging, internet, GPS, everything. It's all going to work. It's very fast. Without me having to explain everything to you, you can literally flash this phone in two minutes. That's all it takes.